Will artificial intelligence make humans redundant? What is its impact on the future for business? These are some of the questions many people are concerned with today. AI has forced businesses in industries from fashion to manufacturing, education to social media to rethink their strategies. Let's take a look at the AI revolution. Welcome to The Exchange from our studios here in Doha. Coming up, World Economic Forum President Borg Brende shares his views about the global impact of AI. Plus, Sachin Dev Degal, CEO of San Francisco software company Builder AI, tells me why he thinks artificial intelligence will create supermen and superwomen. Now, the World Economic Forum's Future of Jobs survey collates information from around 800 international companies. The research revealed some very big changes on the way. It found 75% of the companies surveyed said they'd be looking to implement AI in the next five years, but different sectors are changing in different ways. In the oil and gas industry, 45% of companies are expecting job losses, while another 35% of firms predict employment will grow. 20% foresee no impact at all on employment. Meanwhile, artificial intelligence has truly taken off in the automotive and aerospace industries where 73% of companies expect AI to create new jobs. Well, I spent some time with World Economic Forum President Borg Brende in Doha and I asked him to explain the global impact of AI over the next 10 years. So we uh, foresee a uh, productivity gain potentially of 30% in the coming decade. That means that we can also then have more money uh, for uh, then investing in research, in quality education, in healthcare. But it also raises some uh, fundamental uh, questions. Uh, it is a very, very powerful tool and we have to make sure that AI is working in the interest of humankind. If it gets out of control, these algorithms, the AI, can be so powerful that it can even be a threat to the security of the world, like nuclear weapons have been and are, but we don't have any kind of traffic rules globally when it comes to uh, AI, like we have for nuclears. This is incredibly important to establish, uh, even in the fractured world, we have to agree on challenges that uh, travel without the passport. AI, uh, cyber security, uh, climate change. Paul Brende there highlighting the key threats and opportunities brought by artificial intelligence. Well, like it or not, AI is transforming the way we work. And as our reporter Jane Witherspoon discovered, it's also changing the way we're entertained. She has this report now from the UAE's first AI film festival. For decades, I've been trying to find The Artificial Intelligence Film Festival, launched by Expo City Dubai, explores the use of AI in creative storytelling and filmmaking. The whole idea was how to celebrate the creatives rather than the AI, and how the AI can actually help assist in elevating the creativity and uh, improving the efficiency, uh, giving them uh, uh, more tools so that they can actually deliver their ideas. Once upon a time, there was an old couple in a rural village of Korea. One More Pumpkin won Best Film. It's directed and written by Korean filmmaker Hansel von Kwan. We thought blending Western Halloween culture with Korean imagery uh, would be freshy and generating such images is a strength of generative AI. Art director Megan Phelps incorporates AI into her daily designing, brainstorming and storyboarding. While she fully embraces the technology, she says that there are some challenges. Legislation is like really slow and I think it's really up to the community to make sure that we are very aware of bias, misinformation and um, any kind of ethical implications that our work that we create might have. As AI technology continues to rapidly develop, it's set to change the landscape of the creative industries and further integrate into all aspects of everyday life. And from AI in everyday life to a man running a startup building that artificial intelligence. 
Sachin Dev Dugal is the CEO of San Francisco-based software company Builder AI, a fast-growing firm that's attracted $450 million of funding since 2018. I asked him for a status update on the AI revolution and to explain how he thinks the business world will change over the next 12 to 18 months. You remember that time when AOL launched the disk and then everyone thought the internet is here, but actually the internet had been here for 20, 30 years before. You saw the same thing with ChatGPT last year. Everybody said, oh my God, AI is here. I was like, no, actually transformer models have been here for decades before. What really changed was you didn't have tools and widgets, but you had something that had a conversational experience. It felt like WhatsApp, the response was slower. What this really means is we're in the dial-up world. Broadband is the promised future from an AI perspective. We're so used to digital experiences that are quite jarring. Try booking a flight, for example. You book a flight, you first have to say where you're going, then how many people, and then you find out you can't all sit together. Feels really odd, right? But in a conversational experience, you should be able to say, I'm a family of five, I have two kids, one's a three-year-old, and it gives you the right flight for the destination you're going to. And I think those are the evolutions you're going to see in the next 12 to 18 months. AI is the cape you put on top of supermen and superwomen. Men and women are not the cape you're putting on top of AI. And we have to make that sort of paradoxical shift in our minds. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds. Start the clock. The world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, is set to report earnings for the first quarter of 2024. The giant finance brand controls a staggering $10 trillion worth of assets. The company recently launched a new regime of more active investment strategies to combat macro uncertainty. April's figures will be one early test of how well that's been working. JP Morgan also released Q1 figures. The US Financial Services Group made a record profit in 2023 and is now spending billions building more than 500 new bank branches to broaden its footprint in previously underrepresented areas. And India's biggest bank, HDFC, reports on quarter one performance. The world's sixth largest bank suffered a stock price slump of 16% over the first three months of 2024. Shareholders will be hoping the bank's recent growth in loans and aggressive branch expansion will translate into more positive results this month. So whether it's at work or at play, AI is becoming increasingly intertwined with our lives. Billions of dollars have been spent developing it and implementing it. Businesses are having to adapt strategies and workflows, and that ultimately will affect how the world does business. Well, that's all we have time for on this edition of the show. Thank you for watching. Please do check out euronews.com for all your latest business news. And join us again next time on The Exchange.